I thought, I mean, just the, the diversity of people, awards, leaders, contributors, involvement in the community, involvement in the economy, it, it covered all the facets of things. So I think that, that for me was the, was the highlight of the night. It was great to meet a few people I know and a, a whole bunch of people I don't know. That was, that was fantastic. So they mentioned tonight that they want to do a, a Ralph Thomas Legacy Award. So I said, that to me, we got to make that, we got to make that like a thousand people event. Great big deal and really, really put a spotlight on all of the, um, all the black communities, black members, black contributors, black leaders, um, black business and have, and have a really substantial event with a lot of attention. To the youth, I would say keep, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a fantastic job. As I said, we've got, we need 130,000 people to join the workforce in New Brunswick in the next 10 years. So that, that youth cohort, there are ample opportunities for them. So, to, you know, they'll, they'll have tons of opportunity. It won't be one career, they'll have 10 careers. Listen, on this event, it was a fantastic event. And you, we have to keep going with this sort of thing because you have showed us here with this event what the youth is capable of doing, what our newcomers to this part of, the, the, of Canada is capable of doing. It's, it's so powerful what was done tonight. Now I've seen youth come up and get awards. I've seen people that young adults come up and get awards. And that's what we need in this part of the Maritimes in New Brunswick. It's going to make a difference. So my name is Sophie Aitugube and I'm a reporter here in Canada. I work with the CBC. So today's event was the future. That's the word I would use, right? I saw so many black excellence and I wasn't just seeing them in in the older generation. I was seeing them in the younger generation. And for me, today is like the beginning of big things for New Brunswick young people. And I'm looking to see more of events like this and you know, where we honor the young people and encourage them and tell them that they matter. So I'd say my highlight of today's event was really just being surrounded by so many young black change makers who are doing excellent work in the community and just helping to lift each other up in our individual journeys. It was really inspiring. I'd hope to see in the future more events like this that create spaces for black young change makers to just excel in the field that they are and to be highlighted for the good work that they are doing. The highlight of today's event for me was of course accepting this award for digital innovation on behalf of my business partner Hilary LeBlanc at Black Atlantic. Uh, Hilary was so excited to be nominated for this. Uh, with every waking hour she looks for ways to uplift black voices while breaking down stereotypes in our podcast and again I'm just so proud of her and the work that we've done. Um, what I'm looking forward to in the future from events like this is just more recognition, more acknowledgement, more ways for the community to learn about the amazing work that other members of the community are doing. Hello, my name is Christabel Ugolo and I had the privilege to be not only an attendee but uh, an awarded recipient for the Black Youth Changemaker Awards. And I really enjoyed the musical performance and all the impactful speakers today. And what I would tell um, black youth is if you don't see